Hey, 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 He's not. He's not dead. He's just not here. I know he's not Why here. Why you say like she was in, in, mem- in memoriam or something <laughs> like that? I said no. Yeah, no. I was just so. a creature of habit. Oh, okay. Well, you better get out the habit because it's us two today. Oh Lord. <laughs> anyway, so how was your week, Miss Love? It was pretty good. Um, I signed up for a bike race or marathon, whatever you want to call it, ten, ten miles. So. Uh huh. That's exciting and nervous at the same time. Exciting and nervous? Yeah. Okay. Excited because I've never done it before. Nervous because I don't know how I'm going to handle people passing me. Interesting. Because <laughs> <laughs> on our bike ride, I bike ride by myself. There's nobody around. But other people. Sh- well, you better get used to people passing you because I've seen you bike riding. <sighs> yeah, you're not you ain't seen me bike ride? Uh, I, I, I can imagine. I you know. know. I think you're going to be moving too swiftly. I'm not going to be trying to move swiftly. I'll be trying not to fall down. Well, all right, then. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> More power to you. Man, well, this week, let me tell you what I did. That's <laughs> <laughs> nothing bad. I went to a kickboxing class, right? Uh, how was that? Freaking fantastic. <laughs> Got those hands, pop, 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 pop. All you hear was pop. You know, people were looking like, "Who is this dude?" Well, I'm well, trying, well, I said, I said, well, weren't you hitting the bag? Aren't you supposed to hear? If aren't you, if you're hitting the bag? Yeah, but there's a certain way when you hear that bag pop. pop. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, pop. Yeah. Yep. You make, make people like, "Who was that?" They say, "Say what? Say what are you training?" I said, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time. You do you have some pent up anger or something? Some no, frustration? no, no. I just got those hands. <laughs> 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 anyway, well, we got a good show for you today. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go back to some more music. We'll be back with some more immense music. It's your boy, Coaches. And JD Love. Hit him with the hands. <laughs> 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 it's your boy, Coaches. And JD Love. We, uh, <laughs> we just over here talking about um, corporations that we think are going to take over the world. Yep. But anyway, moving on from that. Yeah. <laughs> We have a birthday list. Birthday list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whose birthday is it this We have a week? few birthdays. A few right. birthdays. I'm going to end with my favorite. So the first one we have, Megan Good. It was her birthday Monday. Oh, Megan Good. Megan Good. She turned 35. Okay, she's my age. Yeah, just about. Yeah. No, no, she, she's a little older. Yeah, she's a little, yeah. She's a little older. But that's I think cool. she's uh, engaged now. Yeah, well. To some, I think a preacher guy, someone real yeah. religious. Yeah, she's married. She's married now. Yeah, oh. she's married, and 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 she said they said they waited, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, she turned over a new leaf. Probably, when they made, probably made the wedding come a little faster. I mean, we just get married tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the next person is Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. Okay. Yeah, she played oh, okay. in uh, Pitch, uh, Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Perfect. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, I think she's real funny. Uh, she turned thirty-one on Tuesday. Okay. And then we also have the late, great Whitney Houston's birthday was Tuesday. Oh. She, well, she she died at 48. So. She died at 48. You want, you want to give us a little Whitney? In, no. In, in memor- memoriam? Hop. No. Has, want- hop play. I'm not going to sing Whitney. Right. You don't sing Whitney unless, unless you can sing. Okay, well, all right, bye. <laughs> that makes sense. Antonio Banderas, oh, okay. his birthday was Wednesday. Puss in Boots. Yes. He turned 56. I didn't think he was that old. Uh, you can't tell because the, the, the cat costume hides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the accent. The cat. animation hides the Asian. Um, another person, uh, Betsy Johnson. I don't know if you guys know her. She's a fashion designer. You might have seen her clothes. Betsy Johnson? Yeah. I was about to say that. I'm like, I'm like, that's yeah, I'm thinking of the American flag. <laughs> it's Betsy Ross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, Betsy Johnson? Yeah, Betsy Johnson. She's a fashion designer. You've probably seen her stuff and not paid no attention to it. Anyway, uh-huh. her birthday was Wednesday, and she turned 40, I mean, 74. What kind of stuff she did? What kind of fashion does she do? Like, what kind of stuff has she done? Um, like, where have I seen her? It would just be in just clothing stores. and it's Her logo is just her name, Betsy Johnson. Uh-huh. And it's like, it's in pink. And it's kind of script. She usually does a lot of loud stuff, pop of color. She's more on the over the 
over the top brands. I like her, but she's very known. Okay. Shout out to the Betsy designers. Yeah, she's really good. Name Betsy. Um, another person, uh, Chris Hemsworth, the Thor guy. His Thor. Birth- his birthday was Thursday. Okay. He turned thirty-three. Okay. I thought he was older than that. And so those weights make him look older. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> uh, another person. Thursday is Hulk Hogan. His birthday was Thursday. Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Hulk. That's what I'm saying. He's he turned sixty-three. Dang. He getting up there, man. He getting up there. He's getting up there. Whew. Another birthday that was Thursday, which I wonder what he's doing now, is I think it's what Dwayne Martin. Dwayne Martin from the he, he's on a no that's Tisha the, Campbell's husband. Oh yeah, Dwayne the real Martin. husbands he's of Hollywood. Husbands of Hollywood, yeah, he's a he was uh, right above the rim. Yeah, sure yeah, he was. Yeah, and he mm-hmm. had that show with uh, Vivica Fox on the town with the Patty. All of Bell us was it all of us or it might have been all of us? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah he turned he turned fifty one. Really. Yeah, 51. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> birthday who who turns, her birthday is tomorrow, which Sunday, Ooh. is Jack Hay, a.k.a. Oh, Jack Jackie Hay. Harry. She's funny. Yeah. She's funny. She turned, she turned 59. Okay. That's what's up. And I found this one, and this is to my mom. Doc Holiday's birthday is going to be tomorrow. Doc Holiday is up. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, yeah. The I'll Western. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of them gunslingers. Yeah. So I have some movies because the left you don't know. See, Tombstone. That has Doc Holiday in it. And that'll yeah. tell you a little bit about him. Tombstone. That's Tombstone. Good, good movie. Purgatory is also a good movie. The l- I haven't seen it. You have seen Purgatory. Okay. Well, I guess I've seen it. Yeah. All these old movies. The Life and Legend of White Earp, White Earp and Doc Holliday were real good friends. So, and so, and last but not least, my favorite person, Halle Berry's birthday is tomorrow. Oh. She turns 49. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. She are all Leos. We're just a wonderful bunch. Oh, Lord. Just a right, wonderful well, bunch. Happy birthday to all those people. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. That's what's up. So have you been keeping up with the Olympics? I've been keeping up a little bit. You've been watching it? What have you been watching? Uh, I know about Simone and the gymnasts, and they're killing it. I'm glad they had the final five. The final I know five? Michael Phelps is killing it. Yeah, Michael Phelps is doing his thing. I mean, but uh, what have you watched, though? Oh, what have I watched? I've seen a few gymnastics and uh, run um, water. And water. You saw gymnastics and you saw the water. <laughs> the water races. <laughs> the swimming? Yeah, the swimming. Oh, uh, and diving. Diving? Yeah, the diving's pretty cool. You know what? The Olympics is the only time, like, you can be sitting here with, like, a bunch of grown men at work, and they're sitting there talking about synchronized diving. Like they know what they talk about. <laughs> We're sitting there like, yo, man, that China team, they were on point. See? Every time you say <laughs> people act like they go, like, oh, man. They you know what I'm saying? Talking about they, kayaking. Yeah, they are good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like no other time. If if I came up to you in like uh February and was like, Hey man, did you you wanna go watch some synchronized diving? <laughs> you <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> but the Olympics is cool, you know. Someone told me, um, the one of the divers they went into the water and there was like no splash like they had like a cone head you know cone heads when they go when you see the movie cone heads I know it's the cone heads they go into the water and there's like no splash uh-huh. you see, that's that's like what they look like really yeah that. wow that's amazing I said this <laughs> that it was a funny reference no I mean it, it, it is funny it is funny hey. You think it's funny? You love it? You like it? I love it? I love it. It was funny. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm going in. Um, yeah, but I'm going to tell you one of my favorite sports to watch, you know, outside of the basketball, that's pretty good. Australia versus USA. That was a good game. Um, but the sport that I watched that I was very surprised by was men's volleyball. Indoor? Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> If you if you if you haven't seen men's volleyball at the Olympic level, 
Not like the high school art level. At the Olympic level, the, I saw a dude get knocked, the hit in the face, and like knocked down. And like, <laughs> it's like all they are like six feet five and six. Yeah, I saw six, the team. Six, They're eight. big. They're like all tall. And they're jumping up and like in the air floating. And they hit, they hit, they hit the ball like it's like a bullet. Oh, shit. <laughs> this one dude wasn't looking. He was running like to go to in place. Dude spiked the ball in his face. That dude's feet came off the ground. Mm. Yeah, so you haven't. You I know. have. To, I must watch this. Yes, you I saw know. the team, but I didn't. I didn't, they were talking about you know teams and stuff, and I saw them. I was like, huh? They look pretty intense to be volleyball, volleyball team. It's, it's the Olympics. Did you, did you Apparently, see, you watched swimming. You saw that stare down between Michael Phelps. And <laughs> <laughs> Michael Phelps playing no games. It's real. It's yeah. Michael Phelps? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't do so. All right. Well, it's okay, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little breakdown okay. of the medal count. Is that not the Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. We were talking about it. Okay. After. Okay. We'll, we're we'll gonna, explain we're gonna, that after you go through. We're going to go through the Olympics. We're going to go to some music. Then we we'll come back and we're going to tell you about Amazon. <laughs> All right, but we're gonna go to the Olympics first. All right, you like you can ready to go to the music hop? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. My bad. Um, you just looked intense. You look yeah. prime and ready. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm sorry. All right, so here we go. Uh, the United States is leading with the medal count. We have 52. Yes, about time we're winning. Yeah. I mean, we've been winning the whole time. I, I think. From yeah. what I've been saying, okay, yeah, have to don't look at that before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, we got 52. We got 21 gold. 14 silver, 17 bronze. Now, this is just overall in... Just overall. Okay. United States. Then next is China with 39. Mm. Yeah, it's a big drop-off. They got uh, 13 gold, 10 silver, 16 bronze. Then next is 24... Whoa, wait a second. What? It's changing? No. Okay. Then we got Great Britain and Japan tied for fourth. So yeah, with twenty four. So that's um, and then you have all the other countries. Like I think down at the bottom you have, you have a lot of countries with no- nothing. Oh. Yeah, nothing. Like yeah. Woo. So yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, there can only be one. There can only be one. There can only be one. Yeah, actually, only only fifty nine countries have a medal. Mm. And there's like a hundred and forty two and. They all yeah. can't be winners. Yeah, they step the game up. You like you remember uh, t- uh, t- Tunisia, or whatever the dude with the shirt off with the flag that all the girls like. Oh yeah, yeah, he, they they got one bronze. Mm. So anyway, we're gonna go to some more music. We back with some like more immense music. I want music. someone with some gold. I want a gold medal person. All right, we're going back to some more music. <laughs> <laughs> this is immense music. This is called Cheese and Judy Love. Welcome back to your men's music. It's your boy, Coach Cheese. And Judy Love. What is going on? With you? Now, we said we would come back and talk about some Amazon. Amazon, yes. I have just became a but prime. Before before you get there, I, I came across an article. Uh, did you know, I read across an article that said that cannabis and coconut oil Make a powerful mixture to kill can- cancer cells. I believe it. Why do you believe it? Coconut oil does everything. Oh, see, coconut I'll, I'll oil does everything. <laughs> coconut oil, anything that's going to heal, prevent, make better, just make life just grand, has coconut oil in it. Or really? some res- or some residue of some coconut oil. I've, okay. Or coconut. And you know, you always hear good stories about uh, cannabis, how it makes people feel better. <laughs> the medicinal purposes of that, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the relaxation. I guess when you mix those two together, it's just wonderful. I guess well, do you eat doesn't it? have a ch- chance. Yeah, yeah. They say the reason that it works so well is because of like the fattiness of the oil. It's easy for like the cannabinoids to like attach onto it or whatever. Or the yeah. Can- whatever it is, it attaches onto it. So then, I guess when they drink it, it some kind of the good fat that goes to your liver. So it like goes to your liver and turns into like 
I believe the coconut oil does everything. Like some disease fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it because the coconut oil is oily when you cook it. When you use it as to eat it and stuff, it is real, real oily. Yeah. So I use it as when I make like cream of wheat or oatmeal. Uh huh. I use it instead of like butter and stuff. And if you just put a little dot and it be just it's like, ooh, it's too much oil. But it's coconut oil is good for you. It'll be alright. It's not like regular oil. I don't, I don't understand that middle part when you started making sounds. <laughs> <laughs> you have to run that by me one more time. That woo. Yeah. When I put a little drop in there. <laughs> yeah, you know, but then. <laughs> that, those are my sound effects. The okay, well, was dropping. Up. Yeah, so, you know, you, you can get coconut oil at uh, Amazon. So you now you can go to Amazon Prime. And yeah, you can get any. Prime. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I know it's been around for a while. I just became an Amazon Prime member, and it is amazing. Mm. It is. There's, which I'm pretty sure you can get all this without Amazon Prime, but you get the, you can get that one day shipping or in a few hours. Yeah, I know. It's, it's amazing. A few hours, mm. and then you can get music, movies. I... Basic, it'll probably be a better list to think about what can you not do. That's what I'm saying. As Amazon, it's, I don't know what you cannot do. It just or get to this on day Amazon amazes me that there's a website that sells everything and then does everything. I know, and it's everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's how that's y'all need to be watching. I talk about Illuminati and internet, the uh, government. Watching Amazon. The say, yeah, I'll be watching about Amazon. I know because I was watching. Also, through it's like, oh look, movies, whatever, and I'm like, oh look, look at this documentary, and then it's like, oh, well, you can watch this documentary better on the Amazon Video app. It's like, well, shoot, let me download this app. We got about five different apps, which I was like, I don't know what the need is for that, but you know what I'm saying you can get your to, groceries and yeah, clothing. It's amazing. I am, yeah, and with the music with Pandora, same thing, but less commercials. Which you, you're never going to escape commercials. Everybody get that through your head right now. Even if it says commercial free, there's going to be at least one commercial. You can't escape commercials. That's how they're making their money. So. I'm sorry. I am looking up a <laughs> wife on uh, Amazon. Seeing this. <laughs> a mail order bride. <laughs> you probably can. You, you can get anything on Amazon. If I can get this, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, wow, this is amazing. You can get anything on Amazon. I will go to stores websites and be like copy and paste the name and get it put on Amazon and they have it almost the exact same price so it's not like you're sometimes it's a little cheaper but most of the time it's the exact same price okay well that's what's up I, I, I was about to be amazed I'm like oh yes here it is you found it um well they're they're books oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're books they're books on brides yeah but how, how many pages is it? I bet you if you get down to that last page it might be one like like Air Force ones, you might not have three or four, but you got one, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's like thirteen thousand results. I'm not going through all those. Okay, yeah, no, don't do that. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, Amazon is an amazing company. I know. It sells everything, does everything. I wish I could have been there for that pitch and that meeting, the room. How how did it went? I don't have what it went. I know you have a sedan. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> But if I had to imagine, <laughs> <laughs> if I had to imagine, I'll get, I would guess it would probably go something like this. It would probably be something like this. It would probably be like, and this is probably what, 2005, whenever it opened that, a while back, you know, so. Before all this technology yeah, and. The dude probably can't say, hey, just imagine this. I want to open up a website that sells everything. <laughs> <laughs> they probably say, well, what's. You have a target audience or whatever. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's the thing about that is like I went to school for, well, I'm going to school for advertising and marketing, and they always tell you, well, who's your target audience? It's like, oh, you know. you like, no, you need no, you need to narrow it down to that. Exactly. You can't narrow Amazon's target now. It's mm -mm. everybody. Everyone. And everything. Everything. They're taking over. They are taking over. Send your drones to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping your groceries off. Building your trust. 
Watch That's pretty now. cool. I like it. I'm very high. I like Amazon. There's, they get claps for me. And the, have you ever seen like an Amazon building? I have never seen an Amazon building. But they're everywhere. And that doesn't strike you as odd. <laughs> <laughs> No, come to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they get to your house in th- three hours? How are they doing that? Yeah, yeah. And you have seals in the Amazon building? Now, if it was McDonald's, I could believe, or 7 Eleven, I could believe that. Yeah. <laughs> and see, that, and they don't have, like, it would be one thing if they had a building or, like, an Amazon hub. Yeah, but. Mm hmm. Huh. It's odd. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on where you are, they have a dude walking over to you. On the phone. <laughs> hey man, can I get all? Yeah, give me five minutes. <laughs> I wonder, can you order pizza from Amazon? Probably. Yeah, you probably got to make it. You can't get like Papa John's. And, yeah. Anyway, well, yeah. I don't know because they have those little now, which I don't understand. This they have these little buttons on Amazon, and I guess if you order something a lot, like let's just say Kleenex, you order Kleenex a lot, and they have this button of that mm-hmm. brand. Yes. And so when you're out of that brand, all you got to do is click this button, and that's just a reorder of the shipment. Mm. Yeah, and they have, like, Tide, and, you know, I think it's just, like, small now, but it's, like, you know, Tide. When you get low on Tide, all you got to do is press this little Tide button, and what that's, if, like, a reorder of that shipment. What if they have any of that cannabis coconut oil? <laughs> they got the coconut that. oil. They probably got, not mixed together. <laughs> they yeah. got everything. 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 All right. Well, that was a little Amazon spiel. Anyway. So, did you hear about um, Johnny Depp going off? I saw it on TMZ. Johnny Depp, I guess, uh, Amber, I guess that's his ex-wife, the lady saying that she, he beat her up or whatever, they're in a divorce. He apparently goes off on her. Have you seen that video? No, I haven't. Yeah, apparently he goes off. I don't know where they, I guess they're in his house. And... I thought they were divorced. I don't know why she's waking up with him and stuff. But on the video, she's like, what's wrong? You haven't had a good day? He's like... <laughs> well, he probably didn't because he's waking up with his ex-wife. <laughs> well, no, apparently... <laughs> that's never a good night. That's what I'm saying. I, said, I don't know why she's still in the house if they're supposed to be going through a divorce and he's abusive. I don't know. Well, it's maybe it's a big house. Sometimes, sometimes you... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the other side of the house. <laughs> yeah, maybe sometimes, you know, the house is... Maybe the house is nicer than the... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> So he's saying he's slamming stuff. And he's like, and she's like, well, we just we just had a nice uh, morning. And he was like, were you here? Did you wake up here? She's like, no. And he said, then you did not know what happened or something. He said, but he's getting upset. And she's recording this. I don't know why she's recording it, mm-hmm. but she's recording it. And he sees her recording it. And then he goes off, and the screen goes black, and all you hear is, like, <laughs> so I don't know what he's doing. Probably but stepping on that phone, what you hear? <laughs> probably. Like, all you hear is hilt. That's that's the screen cracking. Yeah, yes. and it goes black and yeah. and she's like hiding it. You you can obviously tell she's trying to hide the camera from him. So, and then if you, I'm on the TMZ app. If you go down a little bit, she has she's saying that she did not leak that videotape, which I don't believe. I mean, how did he get out? Or she he, he broke the phone. Well, well he stuff on your phone, phone, you can... Oh, you can say? Yeah, you can retrieve it from other... Like, if you... Uh, like the cloud or whatever? Yeah. Okay. She so. had, she, after, he, after he's finished stepping on, she went and got that SIM card? I got it. Probably. <laughs> I mean, she was recording it for a reason, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That's, I mean, I don't record something of anybody else unless I'm... And they try to set them up. Exactly. Oh, uh, horrible. horrible. <laughs> Shouldn't be setting people up. So I don't know. I mean, with this one, I, I guess I would kind of feel Mr. Depp's situation because I um, mean, you don't want somebody recording you. It's, and it seemed like she was making false accusations. Yeah, <laughs> and she wasn't even there. So right, yeah, it sounds like so. she wasn't there. He was upset about something had happened, and I mean, he was upset. I would have just left him alone. I wouldn't have kept asking him because obviously he didn't want to talk, and he was drinking a lot of wine. And she's like, "You drank this whole bottle of wine," and so all that stuff is women that's nagging if they're upset leave them alone and that's just me and that's probably never a question you want to say like that you drank this whole bottle of wine yeah cause he, was, <laughs> he had this big glass he was pouring it she's like you drank this whole bottle of wine this morning i don't know how early it was uh-huh. and he put it down he was like yeah don't you see me 
you know, that just starts the whole big thing. It's like if they're you obviously they're upset. Yeah, you got you got to rephrase it like that. You just like you can see say like, whoa, you can go. <laughs> like a way to go. I think you could do it, but you did that. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, I'm proud of you. Or I would just say leave him alone till he calm down. Especially if he's already abusive, you should be. If he's mad, why would you want to be in his space if he's quote unquote abusing you? You talking about Johnny Depp, like the actor, the the um the pirate from all those movies, Patch of the Caribbean, yes sir. Like that laid back aloof dude, is abusive? yes sir. I don't, I just got to kiss it. That that's what she's saying allegedly. Allegedly, that's what she's saying. So, okay. I didn't even know. Another note, Ray J, he's married. No, there's no way that player is married. He's married to I guess this lady named. Princess Love, I guess that's her nickname. We got Princess hitched Love. real fancy. Yeah. Ray J. Mary. Ray J. Mary now. Wow. That's wild. She's a Sadie. All the people who don't know. Funny girl. Sadie, Sadie, Mary, lady. Okay. I, I didn't know that. But you know, you know the movie. Funny girl? I know funny girl, yeah. In the movie, they call married women Sadie's. Oh, so it's just an old term, old slang. Yeah, old you, slang. you hit with us on old slang. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. So yeah, in the streets. <laughs> what, did, what did Drosky say? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Drosky on this one. Man, the streets don't know nothing about Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> the streets know about Sadie. Now I believe that the streets don't know nothing about this. So I don't know. Ray J's married, man. He he is married. He's been through a lot of girls, man. A lot of girls. He said he said he hit uh, Kim first. I don't believe him. I think he's just the first on tape. Her. Yeah, I don't believe that. Um, yeah, man, he just played. Uh, they say he's with Whitney Houston. Yeah, uh, I've heard that. I mean, I've I don't even know that. if we have a, enough time to go through all the. I don't even know if he's all he's been with. Right. Wasn't he's? I don't. A lot of people, just probably, probably most people. Like, why didn't he blow up? At, like, he there were two people on that sex tape, right? Yeah. So why didn't Ray J get like as big as Kim? Because was it because was it because his his Kim can have more supportive mom behind her? Mom Probably sex more. <laughs> Kim she, she pushed him harder. Kim had a more. Um, she had a she had a a more, a more co- group behind her to to push it forward. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had. Yeah, they, that's she, what it they was. They had a more cohesive. Yeah, he family and, unit, you know. Cause yeah, because I'm pretty sure his family didn't. I don't. I never heard nothing about what his family thought about it. Yeah, you know. Plus, they had they had you know Brandy was hot at the time, you know. So you know, they, they, yeah. they were doing things, you know. They couldn't all get behind that sex tape like they should have really pushed like those Kardashians. Yeah, yeah, like those know. Kardashians did, and they pushed it. They said, "This is our big break." Uh, but hey, I bet you twenty. T- <laughs> if they could do it again. We'd be keeping up with the Norwoods. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go some more music. We're going to go some more music. This is your boy, Coach Cheese. And Judy Love. That's too funny. <laughs> Come back to immense music. <laughs> it's your boy, Coach Cheese. And Judy Love. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's uh, going on? Yeah, what? so... We were talking about you were you were saying something about loving hip hop. Oh yeah, because um, I love TMZ. I'm on their app. I was scrolling and I, I saw. You shouting at this? <laughs> I ain't paid. That's all I'm saying. Jocelyn Hernandez. She ain't paid you. Hey, you never know. No, you know she's paying. You. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking up this thing, and if you watch the. Love and, if you watch Love and Hip Hop, you know the reunion just passed, and the big, well, one of the big things, there's so many big things, but that Jocelyn Hernandez is pregnant, and she's saying it's Stevie J's baby. I don't think it's his baby, but she's saying it is, and she's crying, and like, I'm going to keep this one, because previously she got pregnant, and she got rid of it. Did she? Yeah, she got pregnant before, and got rid of it. Did she? Was she really pregnant? I don't know if she was really pregnant, but okay. on the show, she was pregnant. And got rid of it. Oh, so she she played a pregnant lady on the show. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. And she got rid of it, but now all of a sudden she. <laughs> so now all of a sudden she pregnant. She want to keep this one. Ah, uh, 
And well. she's saying it's his. And apparently they went to court. And according to the documents that's on the documents that Stevie had, he pointed out what her real name is, which is that Shanelica Benacore, and that she's 39 instead of 29. I guess she was telling people she was 29. And she's not from Puerto Rico. And she might still be married to some somebody else, I guess, before she got on the show. And that the baby in the belly isn't probably isn't his. So I'm pretty sure she's not going to do, do a DNA test until the baby comes out and she's going to have to be forced to. I don't know. I do not know about Miss the, the Puerto Rican princess that might not be Puerto Rican. <laughs> Jessica and Hernandez. Well, you know, that's a funny show. That just cracks me up. That is, that's a wild show. Um, now, who is the creator of that show? Is it Mona Scott? I have no idea who creates that show. Those shows. Hmm. I do not know. You do not know? Me no sé. I was going to say something about Trump. But I cannot remember what I was going to say. That's all I need to here. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, we're coming towards the end of this two hours. So, anything you want to say in conclusion, Miss Love? Hungry. Oh Lord. So what I'm going to do? All that working out and running and stuff. I know. I need to eat. So I think I I think I'm gonna go pay way. She said she went. She went to work out. Just went with a personal trainer, then went running. No, 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 no. You got it run. I had to. I had to go running for with my dogs this morning. So that was okay. She's running with the dogs. So that was. Two hours. Two hours running. Not with two the hours, two miles. Sorry. Oh, two miles. So it's probably about an hour and a half. I know how slow she run. <laughs> that was thirty. It <laughs> was less than thirty minutes. Shut That's your cool. mouth. All right. And then I had my uh, friend slash trainer, my champ. She's back. Uh huh. So she trained with her, and then I had to drop my bike off to make sure it was ready for my ten mile. And the show starts at twelve. And now she's about to go eat and probably now about to go eat and probably go do what. I'm going to eat, and then I'll probably chill for a little bit, and then salsa dancing. A train, a train for the end of the world. <laughs> you want to salsa dance? Yeah. All right. salsa dance? That's what's up. What, what, what are you going to do today, other than come, other than this show? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably just, I'm going to let you do all the work, actually. I'm gonna just going to let you, I'm going to just be hey, when, your hotel when and the be world like, wow, ends. that is... When the world ends, I don't I don't drag people. I'm no, gone. You ain't. <laughs> that, 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 I'm that, not that. coming back. I'm jumping on your back. No. You, 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 you don't care. It's the freedom. <laughs> 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 Unwilling or not, because I know you're not going to stop. Just to get me off. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> At my job, we do training for if there's like a shooting or uh-huh. whatever. Someone comes in shooting. And one of the things they tell us is if you said, if there's an exit, you go to it. Don't wait for nobody. If someone's underneath the desk and is hidden and does not want to come out, you leave them and you get out. And that's me. Deuces. Deuces. You got to see who the shooter is first. Well, yeah, I got to make sure I'm safe. That's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. But you're on your own. Yeah, I'm throwing, I'm throwing all sorts of pins and every. I, <laughs> I'm throwing everything, trying to distract, <laughs> knocking over computers. <laughs> Please, <laughs> he's gonna be like, "What is he doing?" <laughs> he's gonna let me go. <laughs> he's gonna shoot me just to be like, "This guy's weird." Say, he's like, "I don't know." What like, he's like, "I was trying to save lives." That guy was crazy. <laughs> yeah, and right. also, side note, which I thought this was surprising, like shooters in the building, and you know, police and SWAT and everything comes. But so if like if you're hidden in there, if you're hidden somewhere in your building, and the first group of police officers that uh-huh. come, yeah, they're not for you. Do not run to them. Do not do not try to get their attention. They're not for you. They're trying to get the shooter. So stay where you are. Uh, group number two will be coming for you. But the first group you see, they're not for you. I said, well, that is very good information because I would have been. Saved and run and be like, yeah, and that's it. No, they're not for you. Yeah, I, 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 I cuss them out. Hey, sir, so, so, what? what? Did you see me? Oh, okay, all right, all right. F the police. All right, yeah, yeah. I'm with the shooters. Hey, bro. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm going to my car. We'll be right back. And we got two shooters now. <laughs> that's what's up, though. The police don't want to help nobody. Okay. This, this what we doing now? Okay. Yeah, because okay. I would. Yeah. 
All right. Okay. Well, that's good information. Now. That's good information, and I think. So remember, the first wave is not for you. Yeah, the first wave is not for you. They're not trying to get. They're not trying to help the wounded. They're not trying to get everybody out. They're trying to get the shooter. Yes. So stay where you're at until the second wave comes. And I'm pretty sure when they come to get you, they'll point and look at you probably eye contact and say, "Come on." Now, question: Would it be safe to assume um, that? When the first wave comes in, there for the shooter, right? Yeah. So when the first wave leaves, can we just walk out with them? Because assuming they got the shooter. No, because the shooter can. Just <laughs> 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 walk out behind them. Well, I'm saying when I see the first wave like that, all right. Second wave, come get the team. It's like I'm going out the first wave. Ours, I think I'm going a different way. Ours, ours are going to be one of the things where they come in, <laughs> and the second wave is going to be like coming as the first wave is trying to get the shooter. I think the f- second wave won't come in until the shooter is... Neutralized? In, yeah, somewhat contained. So or really they don't even need a second wave. <laughs> they can, the second wave could be done by intercom. Uh, you can leave the building now safely. <laughs> or I think... I'll have to just leave the building to the left, please. Or I think if it's <laughs> a big enough building, they'll do it. The reason they have waves because if it's a big enough building, if he's in the top half, then uh-huh. the second wave will clear out the bottom half. Okay, so it can be a... Yeah, because like, yeah, if he's in the... Because my company has a warehouse. So if he's in the warehouse, they can clear out everybody who's not in the warehouse. I mean, that can still be done with the intercom. No, it can't because you don't want the shooter to... Here, you're trying to be... Listen, if the shooter is in the, the upper right-hand corner in the warehouse, he can't get to the warehouse, they can be like, if you're in the warehouse, you're free to go. <laughs> so she's gotta run to the warehouse. Oh, wait, wait, no. wait, wait, wait! No. They run to the warehouse. They're like the upper right hand quarters. You're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> Losing everybody. No. You have to pick up to pick a place to stay. I'm right here in the third quarter, and I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, but I thought that was very interesting because I would. Yeah. So the first wave, not for you. The first so wave is not for you. Not and when the first you. wave leaves, remember, stay and wait for that second wave. <laughs> To come and walk you out hand in hand. <laughs> come on, this steak now. I would, yeah, that's what I would do if you don't get out by yourself. And the third wave comes and enters the trash. <laughs> <laughs> clean up. Clean clean up all the, the urine and poop that everybody <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, this has been Immense Music the Show. <laughs> we will see you next week. Next week. 12 to 2. Check out our YouTube page. I need Mint Music, uh, our Facebook, I Mint Music. I know, we have Radio. that Prince tribute concert. We can talk about that next week. There you go. We got a lot of stuff coming up. We're, we're coming up, we're getting, every day, we're getting, every week, we're getting close to our 50th show. Ooh, ooh. So, now, you know that's on you, Miss Love, right? I know, it's on me. I'll because, do something. Because you know Drosky didn't even show up, so you know he ain't going to do nothing for the 50th. <laughs> <laughs> No, I got the 50th. It's not going to be nothing big because oh, oh it's just going to be something small. But I'll All right, well, we can cut you off with that. <laughs> It'll be more than you do. Okay, we're going to fight. Cut, cut the music. Uh-huh, we got to go. <laughs> 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 I, got, I had to get Johnny Depp in here. <laughs>